Good day, I am Ms. Ekel Madison Cancillo and for today I'm going to perform the preparation of medication from Ampio. So the rationale for doing this is for us nurses or student nurses to have a knowledge on how to withdraw medication from Ampio. So before I proceed on the procedure, I need first to ensure that I follow the five rights of medication administration. In doing this, I need to ensure that I have a right medication, the right dose, of course, at the right time, at the right patient, and at the right route. And after I ensure that, I need now to perform hand hygiene and observe other infection control procedure. The rationale is to prevent the spreading of microorganisms from me or from nurse to the patient and vice versa from the patient to the nurse. And after I do that, I need now to prepare the ampule or the medication from the ampule. In doing this, I need to prepare all of the equipments that I will be needing for my return demonstration. So here are my equipments. So firstly, of course, we need the ampule with the medication inside. Of course, next the syringe, which measures 3 ml or 3 cc. And next is the aspirating needle. So originally, or the recommended is the filter straw needle. But since I have, I don't have any filter straw needle here. That's why I'm using an aspirating needle. Next is we also need a gauze and the alcohol pad. So we will be needing this alcohol pad to clean the ampule or the neck of the ampule before we break it and also we need the gauze for the breakage of the ampule so now we will proceed on the breaking of the ampule the ampule so in doing this we need first to clicker its top with using our fingernails to ensure that there are no air bubbles on the top because there are instances that some medication are left on the top so we have to ensure that there is no medication left by by flick uh, by doing the flicker on the top so after that we need to get our alcohol pad and uh, just just like what i have mentioned is we need to uh, we need to clean the ampule using yeah we need to clean around the ampule before we break so we need to dispose it all in one area so after that we need to place our ampule on the flat surface so that it will uh, it will contain the medication evenly so next is we have to get uh, an ampule opener so since we don't have any ampule ampule opener we need to get a gauze as an alternative so in doing this we need to again place the ampule on the flat surface and using a gauze put it on the top or on the neck of the ampule and then the breakage should be away from us so that we will not be harmed or we will not be in danger. So in doing this, we need to break. Now we will, now we will be breaking the ampule. All right. So that's that's how you break. That's how I break the ampule. So this, so this, the one that I broke. Is will be going to dispose on the sharp container where it contains all the sharp that are disposed so it will so that it will not harm any people or it will not cause any damage so as well as the gauze so after we already withdraw I mean I mean after we break the ampule we need now to withdraw the medication but before we do that we need first the syringe so we will now setting up the syringe so for here we need to get the syringe and 
the aspirating needle since we since I don't have filter straw needle so we need to remove the original needle of the syringe and then get it on the and then insert it on the aspirating needle all right so after so we've already changed but we will be uh, left this here because we will be needing or I will be needing this later so let's just set aside so I have here my syringe with my aspirating needle so for a single dose ampule like this we need to hold it on the side and then uh, we need first to remove the cup Alright, we need first to remove the cup and then we need to hold the ampule on the side and we will now going to withdraw the drug on its prescribed amount so the prescribed amount let's say is 1 cc or 1 ml so uh, we're going to withdraw by holding it firmly so that it will not move okay so insert it and we draw a drop. Alright, so let's go and fill once. Alright. <clears throat> so we need to remove all of the air bubbles on the top. We need to remove all of the air bubbles on the top by again flicker it with using our thumbnail and if necessary we need to uh, pull the plunger and make it sure that there is no medication that or there is no liquid that will be going out all right so this is now our measurement one cc so after after we get the medication we need now to uh, get the we need now to get the aspirating needle back and uh, get back the syringe on its regular needle so making sure make it sure that it is tightly closed so that it will not the medication will not uh, go outside of this range until we administer it to the patient All right. so the the filter need uh, i mean the aspirating needle that we use should be disposed on the sharp container just like what i have mentioned a while ago and after we do all of the procedure that we've done we need to dispose all of the equipments that we already used and then this medication is now ready to administer to the patient and of course we also need to perform hand hygiene again to i need to perform hand hygiene again to prevent the spreading of microorganisms and also i need to gather or document all of the data that i gathered while doing or for the whole procedure thank you